morning, friends. Today is Palm Sunday, and here's Mr. Riley with us to do some music and to do chapel together. Um, so we're going to start with Jesus Loves Me. I think that's a good song to sing when we're thinking about Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. And before we start, um, I want to tell parents that for our... Um, Godly play lesson today, we'll be telling the story of Jesus coming into Jerusalem on the donkey, and that was the time that people laid out their cloaks and palm branches for him, and so if you would like to collect some items, um, coats, blankets, whatever, you, the children can lay down while I'm telling the story if they would like to. If not, that's okay too, but just a heads up that we'll be doing that after the chapel liturgy. Um, and then for Jesus Loves Me, it's always fun to do sign language. And so I just wanted to do a quick tutorial of that before we get started. So we put our hands like this. And for Jesus, we point to the middle of our palms. That reminds us of the wounds on Jesus' hands. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible is the same as Jesus, except you make a book. The Bible tells me. So, this is the sign language for that, and that's the word that they would use there. Little ones, we just kind of do little guys, little ones to him belong. Make two rings with your fingers. They are weak, like it's a person standing up that falls down, but he is strong. Show up your muscles. And then yes, this kind of looks like a knocking. Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Okay, you ready? Sure. You guys sing with me? We'll see. You guys remember what your part is. I'll sing the beginning and you kind of echo with the music while I light the candle. Also with you. God be with me when I think. God be with me when I think. God be with me when I speak. God be with me when I speak. God be with me in my heart. God be with me in my heart. Oh dear God, let us never part. Oh dear God, let us never part. Here's our creed. This is what we believe. We believe in God above. We believe in God above. We believe in Jesus' love. We believe in Jesus' love. We believe in the Holy Spirit too. We believe in the Holy Spirit too. Who comes to live in me and you. Who comes to live in me and you. Let's pray for the prayers of the people. I'll say the prayers and then you guys all say, Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for our teachers to help us so we can learn and be more like you. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for our families that your love will fill our hearts. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for the boys and girls and their families who are hungry and give thanks to those who help them. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for all people who are sick or sad. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for all people who have died. Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray you will be with us in all we do. Jesus, hear our prayer. And this is the time that you can say your own special prayers. 
My special prayers are for those of us who um, feel anxious or worried and for um, medical professionals that are taking such good care of people that are ill right now. And remember that God can hear the prayers you say aloud or silently in your heart. We ask all these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Here's our confession. We'll tell God we're sorry for things we've done wrong, and we'll try harder to love and follow God. Repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. I am sorry I have done things. I am sorry I have done things. I should not have done. I should not have done. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive me. For hurting friends and those I love. For hurting friends and those I love. Please help me to do better. Please help me to do better. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you for our offerings, so we'll sing. We love to get together and give thanks to God. We remember that you can offer your love. Your thankfulness, your prayers, your worries, your joys, your concerns, your praise. God wants all of us. Love you guys. See you next time. Time for the story. Have a good story. Before we begin our story, I wanted to show you this special little box that I have. We made these last year for Holy Week. Did you know that Holy Week is coming up? Today um, is the first day, really, of Holy Week, even though it's Sunday, the day that we celebrate Palm Sunday. That's the day that um, you'll see a lot of red inside the church and palm branches, and we usually do some fun activities. So remember that you can wave your own branches, whatever kind you find. And maybe you remember this from last year, and if you don't, maybe you can find a way to make your own. This is just a little box, and I painted the top gray like a stone. And inside, There's Jesus, and of course, the little palm branch that we lay down for Jesus to walk in on. We can turn our little box over to be a table for Jesus to stand behind, and on that table for his last supper, with the disciples, we can put a little tiny loaf of bread and cup, the bread and the wine. And remember, Jesus had that supper with his friends, his disciples, his followers. And he said, whenever you drink this cup, I'll be with you. Think of me. And when you eat this bread, think of me. I'll be with you. And then we take the crown of thorns they placed upon his head when they named him the king of the Jews. Here's the cross. Here's the cloth they wrapped him in to put him into the tomb. And they rolled the stone in front of it. And that was a sad and dark day. And on Easter morning, the women came to the tomb to look at the body and make sure all was prepared. And they found the empty tomb because Jesus is alive. So that's our little Holy Week in a box, kind of like a little activity set so that you can tell this story to your family and to yourself again and again as you like.
If you don't want to make one of your own and you don't already have one, then we'll make one together next year. As for today, for Palm Sunday, let's see what we have to be ready to tell this story. Ooh, I want to make sure you can see. Oh, you know, Miss Catherine always forgets to blow out the Christ candle. We do that. Ready? Blow it with me. One, two, three. And you can see I've already moved the circle of the church year arrow to that last purple Sunday before Easter Sunday. It's going to be a different kind of Easter celebration this year, but it'll still be a celebration just the same. And I look forward to celebrating with you. I'm going to turn the camera lower so that you can see the story. And I know you like to see my face, but don't worry, I will be back. Okay, so look, this is something that we need. Something pretty special, I think. And here, I wonder what this could be. Ah, I think this could be the road. Hmm. What else do we have to be ready to tell this story? Let's put this here on this end so that you can see it. Okay. Can you see it? Okay. Ready? <laughs> this is the season of Lent. We're still in the season of Lent, the time we get ready to celebrate the mystery of Easter, the time we are all on the way to Jerusalem. But who will show the way? Jesus will show the way. Once every year, the people of God came into the great city of Jerusalem to celebrate the feast of the Passover, to remember how God led them through the water to freedom. This year, as Jesus traveled to Jerusalem, people thought that he would be their king. When they heard Jesus was near, they ran to him and shouted, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. And as Jesus came through the big gates of the city, they ran out to greet him, laying down their cloaks and branches of palms to receive him and to celebrate him. They shouted, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. And they put down their cloaks and branches to prepare the way. And as they put down their cloaks and branches, they said, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hmm. I wonder if there were children there. You can prepare the way, too, by placing your own cloaks or things that help you remember palm leaves. You can make them out of paper or felt, or you can use large ones. You can be a part of preparing the way for Jesus, the king who was coming and is still coming and is here with us. 
today as the risen Christ. I wonder, hi, I wonder what Jesus thought when they heard, he heard the people shouting, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. I wonder how Jesus felt when they wanted him to be their king. I wonder who the people were who were shouting, Hosanna in the highest. I wonder why Jesus rode on a donkey instead of a horse or something more fancy. I wonder what kind of king, whoop, I wonder what kind of king Jesus is. And I wonder what it would be like to live in Jesus' kingdom. Before I go, I want to say that I wonder if you might like to tell this story with your families. Did you know that you could do that? A really fun version of this story to tell is in the Bible, in the book of Matthew. And see, this Bible, in the gospel stories, the stories about Jesus, the letters that Jesus said are in red, that helps us know what's, what words Jesus said. In the book of Matthew, chapter 21, you see the story of Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. And there's a lot of neat parts. You could have um, someone in your family be Jesus, someone be the donkey. You could have people being the bystanders, laying down cloaks and branches. You could have people being disciples. Jesus told the two of the disciples to go and get the donkey. Actually, it wasn't even a grown-up donkey. It was a colt, a young donkey, and he borrowed it from someone else. So maybe you could act out that story. And if you would like to do that and make a video of it and send it to me, I would sure love that as well. That would be really fun to see. I want to make sure that you know that you'll be seeing me this week again on Wednesday night. We'll have a story time for bedtime. And on Friday morning for our regular morning time story, We'll actually be doing the Godly Play Faces of Easter for Good Friday. So I hope you'll join me then to hear that story, the story of all the faces of Jesus, from the baby Jesus to the risen Christ. So I'll see you Wednesday night and Friday morning. And in between, don't forget that I'm here and I'm thinking of you and I'm praying for you. And I love you very much, but not as much as Jesus says. Happy Palm Sunday. See you soon.